Hello all my chickadees and welcome back! Today we're going to be playing another demo. Uh, it's horror. <laughs> As you can probably guess by the blood stain going on over here. Oh look, our cursor's a little crown! Oh, that's cute. But, um, this is called Something's Wrong with Sunny Day Jack. And as you can see, it says it's 18 plus, only psychological horror dating sim. So, for all you people under 18, please beware. I am not responsible for your choice to watch this or not after this. So, <laughs> if it does get bad, I'll age restrict the video, as always. But, let's dive in. This is just a demo. I really don't know anything about it except it's a demo and the full game is in production right now. Okay. And somebody's name Sunny Day Jack. That's all I know. Oh, ain't that cute? I love the little text box there. Where am I? I don't mean to be rude, but I don't remember seeing a face like yours before. Come to think of it. It's been a while since I've seen anyone at all. <laughs> I haven't slept in ages. But you? I don't know you. I don't think this is a dream this time. I think... You're real, right? Oh, I know the song. It's a very slowed down version of, um... Hush, little baby. It's like, hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mama's gonna bring buy you a mockingbird. Oh, that is creepy. Really slowing down like that, guys. Kitty, kitty, get out of the way. Kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm having a kitty moment, guys. Okay, baby. Thank you. It's okay. You don't need to be scared. I'm sure that you and I will become fast friends, though. But where are my manners? I don't believe I've even caught your name. You do have one, don't you? Ha ha ha! Okay, we're gonna go as... Sparrow? Enter. Sparrow? Is that right? Yes, it is. Oh! <laughs> yes. It's nice to, nice to meet you, Sparrow. You don't know what it's been like for me in there. It's been hell. <laughs> for... For a second there, I almost thought God had abandoned me. But I'm sure it was all one big mistake. We all make mistakes, even at the best of times. All that matters now is I have a new friend. And we could spend the rest of forever doing all sorts of fun things together. And we never have to be lonely ever again. It's so cold in there. Cold in where, buddy? Cold in where? Definitely getting the Yandere vibes here. I still love this crown. Look at it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> For as long as I remember, I can remember, I've never really been the type of person to go out of their way to relive my childhood. I mean, I had a fine one, I guess, but it wasn't really anything special. And being an adult has its own perks, too. Driving cars and having your own money is pretty nice. I don't think I'd trade it for homework and not being able to open childproof caps. <laughs> These days, a lot of my friends are having kids and spending their money on nostalgic things. That's fine for them, I guess, but... I don't usually tend to do that kind of thing. I don't make the kind of cash to be able to do that anyways. I'd like to think I was pretty mature for that reason. At least, compared to some people, right? There is one exception, though. Or, I guess, there was one. Hey. Are you there? Oh, voice acted! Oh, I wasn't expecting voice acting for a demo, but heck yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make sure you, the volume is up high enough for you guys can hear it too. Let's see. Uh, okay, I turned it up a little bit, so hopefully you guys can hear it. I was just calling to see how you're doing. You haven't answered. 
answered any of my texts. We've been sleeping. I, I, I know this is my fault. You don't have to be okay. I wouldn't be in your shoes. But please, let me know you're okay. Mmm, who is this? Still alive, at least. Um... It's me again. You're not posting online anymore. Are things okay? I think someone has attachment issues. <laughs> If you give us a chance, which you're not going to. You remember when we were kids? You'd be the one to ask my mom if I could sleep over at your place. Okay, so is this our childhood friend? It sounds like it. Okay, so this is a very clingy childhood friend, uh, it sounds like. Um, I honestly, honestly can't tell if it's a boy or a girl, and I'm totally fine with that. That's really cool. But, who is this? I'm gonna fix us, but there's no us without you. And I need you. I'm sorry every day. I'll be sorry. Without you, answer me, please. If you can hear me, answer me. I love you. Okay, this is a former significant other. It sounds like he was very, very attached. I should know better than to hang on to the past. Nostalgic comforts, they never last. And even if it looks the same, it never is. So best to just grow up and move forward. Be strong enough so that when things do change, you're not leaning into them and you can support yourself. I won't lie. I've been eager to discard these childish things from my life. Almost recklessly so. Maybe that's, that's why I am where I am today. Haunted by the ambassador of past things. Of things past. Things simple. And colorful and childish. Maybe that's why I'm being haunted by a children's TV show hope. Okay, um. Hold up. Haunted by a children's TV show host. So, was that the host on the phone? Was that the children's host on the phone calling us? Oh, this is next level horror here. Oh, dear. And so that makes sense. Okay, I don't... First, I don't know how the... Okay, I don't know how, but... You ask your mom if I could come over. So, asking the mom if they can watch the show. <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, wow. Maybe it's like, because you can't let go of your childhood. That it's not letting go of you. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning, Jack. Oh, okay, so the other the voice on the phone and Jack is definitely different. So Hello, Jack. It's time to get up now. Sun's high in the sky, and we wouldn't want to miss out on such a beautiful day, would we? You know, I guess not. I feel him. I feel his weight in the mattress and how the blankets tuck beneath his, beneath his weight. I don't even need to turn to look. I just know he's there. Hey now, sleep is good for you, 
With too much of anything, even sleep can be bad too. Come on, let's get going. Okay, this is calling me out because I'm a long sleeper. <laughs> I, I have to sleep like 10 plus hours to survive, so I feel very called out right now, Jack. But what if we just want to tuck down into the bed like a little like burrowing thingy mabobber and just hibernate? We can do that, right? He's nudging me gently. The feral sleep deprived part of my mind is telling me to shove him over the side of the bed. But something about how gentle he's pestering me makes me feel bad enough that put that thought aside. I throw the blankets over my head and tuck into my cocoon deeper. See? 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 I was right. We need to, we need to bury into the cocoon and stay there. Come on, Jack. Not today. It's Saturday. Saturdays are for sleeping in. I feel him shift slightly, maybe even a little closer. Saturdays can be for lots of other things too, though, like walks in the park or trips to the museum. Oh, or even breakfast pancakes. Okay, okay, you have my attention now. You have my attention. You said pancakes. Well then, I have to admit, that's a new one. An intriguing one too. Pancakes? Pancakes. What kind? Blueberry's my specialty, but I can't make them from bed. <laughs> Curse my incurable laziness and insatiable hunger for foods that require actual cooking. It compels me to get out of bed. Oh, hello, Jack. You do look like a children's host. A TV star host. I sit up and open my eyes. Sure enough. There he is, in all of his primary colored glory. It's Jack, or I guess his full name is Sunny Day Jack. Um, the title of the game is Something's Wrong with Sunny Day Jack. So, <laughs> something's gonna go wrong. Though I'm pretty sure his first name is Jack. Maybe it's more of an, honor or an honorary title. All right, all right, but tell me this. Since when do you make pancakes? Well, I've never not been able to. He has a point. So, can you actually cook? I'm not bad. <laughs> he smiles coolly, yet warmly. It's a mature and gentle confidence. I feel my stomach fill with butterflies. I haven't felt this happy from being paid attention to from a look since that one camp counselor I had a crush on when I was 12. This man? Thing? I don't know what to call him. He's a strange anomaly to be sure. I can touch him, see him, hear and feel him. He's as real to me as anyone else. And I notice the morning, morning sun even catches in his hair like he's as real as I am. And yet, I'm really not sure he is. It all started a few months ago. Okay, okay, how did this start? I've been looking for clothes at the local thrift shop. You know, as one does when their wardrobe consists 75% stolen and borrowed shirts from their ex. Mm, yeah, <laughs> you might need some other clothes. And they're too much of a tight wob to shop for new clothes in an actual news clothes store. There hadn't been very many quality items on the racks, but while I was there, I decided to pick through the messy shelves in the back. You know, the ones filled with ceramic frogs, old alarm clocks, and bags of pu puzzle pieces. I wasn't actually seeing anything that caught my attention, and that wasn't abnormal. I got a few funny pictures for my socials, and was content to consider that my entertainment value for the whole trip. Somewhere in my picking and pulling, something must have happened. I remember knocking over a pile of loosely stacked items. Sure, but I don't remember the tape falling into my basket. 84 incident? I just remember showing up to the counter, seeing the employee pull it out and ringing it up, wanting to object, and yet being too nervous to really stop them. It was only like a quarter anyway, not really worth the fuss. When I pulled it out later, it looked like your average home movie. Black VHS tape with cracked plastic. Just a piece of tape with 84 incident written on the front in faded marker. It could have made for a decent horror movie prop. 
At the time, I was holding on to some belongings for a friend. He was a big enough nerd, and he had a VHR. VCR, oh my gosh. Oh, I can't talk today, guys. I can't talk today. Before I threw it away, I figured I would see what was on it at least. Like I said, though, that was a few months ago. I don't remember what was on that tape. Must have been really tired or something because I blacked out. I can't remember anything about it, and the tape doesn't seem to work anymore. But since I woke up that one day, Sonny Jack has just been here. From what I've been able to glean, he's connected to the tape. He often references his friends, the Sunny Time crew. A few times I was tempted to think a crazed man had just come into my apartment and started living there. But then I made a few observations that led me to believe maybe, just maybe, I was gonna I was just going insane. They were having me do a lot of unpaid overtime. So it was a logical conclusion at the time. But over time I but over time, I began to also gather more data. First things first, only I can see him. At work, at the store, everywhere I go, not a, a single other person has been able to see him. I'm the only one who can touch him, and everyone else seems to conveniently exist around him. Second, he doesn't show up in mirrors. Hmm reflections anything like that so i begin to think he's more of a ghost or maybe even a specter of some kind and maybe i'm just being haunted by the ghost of a clown or something any attempts to ask the internet about him have remained fruitless no one seems to know anything about a sunny time crew or cloudy crown clown town even if he willingly offers up answers to any questions i ask I can only ask so many questions before I can even barely make sense of what he's saying. It's like he came from another planet sometimes. Okay, so he's from, it sounds like he is supposed to be from a TV show, um, Sunny Time Crew or something, and nobody else knows about it so maybe it never actually made it to production and this is one of the few videos with them on it uh sounds like he was like possessing the tape or something and now he's possessing us hmm this is really intriguing i like this i like this plot line and i just realized this is going to be uh <laughs> two let's plays about clown type <laughs> clown types in a row so <laughs> oh this is gonna be fun it's usually quite frustrating but today it's not so bad because I don't care what he is whatever he is is something that can make me pancakes and that means pancakes for me that I don't have to make very good point <laughs> pancakes you don't have to make I mean I would be all for that too <laughs> Before I know it, I'm up and out of the bathroom, mouth tasting freshly of toothpaste and mouthwash. I really hope he isn't planning on serving pancakes with orange juice. I enter the kitchen and to half surprise and half not, there he is, mixing a bowl of pancake batter. So he's corporeal enough to actually interact with objects around him because we're clearly not doing it. Or we have very, very much lost our mind. So. <laughs> The dishes in the sink are neatly stacked, and there's not even a mess. He's actually been cleaning up as he cooks. Whatever outlook on life has made him uh, the kind of person who can do that, I wish I had it too. Cooking or cleaning while you cook? Now that's a keeper. That's a keeper right there. <laughs> he turns to the stove and ladles out a healthy dollop of batter speckled with round plump bl blueberries when did i even buy blueberries he then turns back to me and grins look at you all fresh-faced and starry-eyed ready to tackle the day you know maybe we are maybe we are especially with free pancakes i mean come on <laughs> maybe 
That was a trick question. No morning is complete without a nice breakfast. Gotta put some fuel in that tank before you can get all revved up. He talks so enthusiastically about being healthy. Usually people like this are annoying, but something about the way he does it makes me feel fuzzy inside. And I actually want to do it? It feels attainable and reasonable and like it comes from a place of genuine concern for my well-being. What is this man? And where can I get one? Um, are you okay? <sighs> I jump as I return through the realm of warm fuzzies and back to re return from the realm of warm fuzzies and back to reality. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm not used to having someone around who cares about that, that kind of stuff. That's all. His gaze softens. Well, you better get used to it, because I'm not going anywhere. That's good, as long as um you don't go psycho and try to kill me. Deal? And with that, the cakes are plated and breakfast is served. It was only three cakes, but afterwards, I'm stuffed to the brim. Jack mentioned something about them being made with love, but I don't see how that equates to them being more feeling. It strangely does make sense, though. Clean up is quick, uh, and I help some as thanks for the meal. As I put the last dish away, I stop and glance at the clock on the wall. Wow, is it really only 8.30? Feels like it should be noon. That would be the beauty of starting the day nice and early dawning on you. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was bad. Uh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I know. But you have to admit, it got at least a little bit of a rise out of you. Oh my god. Jack, Jack, stop. <laughs> stop. That's terrible. You're terrible. Well, you know puns. why they call me Sunny Day Jack? No, but I'm scared to ask any father. Because I've got jokes for days. Oh, <laughs> oh child. I never felt more betrayed in my life. Aw, <laughs> uh, don't be like that. <laughs> I give him a playful shove and we get our giggles out. It all feels so natural and healthy and wholesome. It's like, he's my best friend? Am I really getting attached to this guy? Now I know I must be going crazy. Still, I say nothing about that as I flop onto the couch. If I can't sleep, then at the very least I'll enjoy some morning vegging out. He's not going to make us go run some laps, is he? I turn on the TV and stop, start flipping through channels. I see Jack staring from the deer w doorway wistfully, like a puppy looking for an invitation. I give the seat next to me a pat. I got up and I ate your breakfast. Now we get to do something unhealthy as a treat. Well, if I've taught you moderation, I'll consider that my good deed for the day and oblige you. And then, just like that, I sat down... I sat next to a retro clown man. Nice. I don't think too much about what's on TV. In the corner of my eyes, he's still there. Still real. Still not a dream. It's weird. But I can't deny that the company is nice. He's nice. Really nice. I find myself complimenting compelled father to lean against him. Boop. <laughs> I fall against him awkwardly. He if it, he feels like falling into a perfectly me-sized baseball mitt. Hi there, friend. <laughs> Look at that face. That is a sa uh, a sassy little face there. Howdy. He's warm and soft and firm. His shoulders are nice. You getting comfy there? Maybe. Maybe I am. Maybe. Aw, I didn't know it was cuddle time. Let's make this even comfier, huh? How? How are we going to make it comfier? He shifts around, and before I know it, I'm lying head on his chest. Oh! Oh, wow. Okay. I feel myself torn between wanting to freeze up and wanting to melt. 
I feel so protective. What is this witchcraft? He looks down at me with those dark, soft eyes. It, is this okay? Yeah. I'm glad. I am just waiting for the other shoe to drop. This is like too sweet and wholesome right now. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop and it to get very dark very quick, okay? <laughs> I, it, it's like I'm enjoying how comfy and lovely it is, but I'm also like, oh god, what's gonna happen? <laughs> I've been playing too many horror games. <laughs> okay. He is so close now. His smile is so sincere. What? Do I have something on my face? He doesn't. I'm looking at all of his face. As weird as it sounds, my mind is loopy with comfort. I feel so protected and cared for. I feel loved. I want to do something. Hmm. <laughs> now, I want to kiss him. But we're going to go the safe route. Don't make it weird. I suddenly don't want to do anything, but be worn with his warmth. I fall against him, clinging to his shirt under his vest. He chuckles as I exhale deeply, my mind drifting into this blissful state of existence. Why does this remind me of something so intimate? Part of me feels like I'm inches away from touching his heart with mine. Do hours pass? Do days? I can see the sunlight through my eyes and all I know is everything feels golden and pure. I could stay like this forever. How did I come to know Jack again? It's so odd when I lay it all out. This hallucination of mine is holding me, making me feel so good. It's, it can't not be real, right? If it wasn't, I think I might have cried. I wanted him to be there, to be real. I needed him so you know, bad. There are lots of ways to stay with someone forever, don't you? Um. I never have to leave if you don't want me to. And if you didn't want me to, I don't think I'd ever go. I want it to open my eyes to access the situation. Maybe read his face, but I don't. You make me feel something special. You make me feel love. His embrace grows not tighter, but more resolved, possessive even. I feel the gold of my fuzzy mind fade into something grayer, colder, almost more distant. My first insti instinct is to seek him out again. They won't understand it, but they don't need to. The world is so busy, they'll forget all about you. I never want that for you. I finally opened my eyes. So I won't. You won't what? I won't ever forget you. I'll never leave you, okay? And in return, please don't forget about me. He smiles, but it's so sad. Maybe even desperate. I shake my head. I won't. I won't forget about you promise. That seems to put him at ease. I rest myself in his arms once more, but the way he holds me is ginger. It's like he's afraid I'll crumble to dust or break. Oh, loud. It's my cell phone. I try to pull away from Jack as little as possible as I pull it out of my pocket and see that it's my boss. Hey there. I look up at Jack, almost asking for permission to disturb the silence by taking this call. He only smiles as he tends to do. Yes, sir? I am so sorry to call you like this, but how quickly can you get down here? What do you mean? Well, Carol just called in sick and nobody's gonna be here if she's gone. And it's a Saturday, so, well, you know how people are. They're gonna want yogurt on Saturdays. Oh, we work at a yogurt shop? Can you get down here in 30? I have to run some errands today, so I can't stay around. Jack's grip grows a little tighter, but if it, but it falls away with a deep chest heave and sigh. Yes, sir. 
great. Thanks for being a team player. See you then. Well, cuddle time is over. Well, it's a good thing we got you breakfast when we did. I feel horrible. I feel like he needs me right now, for some reason. But I'm walking out on him for a paycheck. But all appears not to be as somber as I think when Jack takes my hand and kisses my wrist. God, it's so silly, but why do I turn to putty when he does? Come on. Let's get out there and tackle this day. You won't be alone. I promise. Right. Right. No one can see him. I feel a bit better about it all. Thank you, Jack. I... I don't know... What you would do without me? Yeah. He smiles. Bright as ever, like a best friend I've had for years. That's what I'm here for. Oh, he's blushing. I see that. It's full on raining when I get to the front door. Because why not? The clouds must have rolled in earlier, but I hadn't noticed that until I gotten inside. And by then, it was too late to run all the way back up to my apartment, unlock the door, grab an umbrella, lock the door again, and run back down. I figured if it, if I was fast, I could book it. My job wasn't much more than, than what, ten minutes away? If I ran and stuck to staying beneath the trees and awnings, I'd be okay. I was wrong. I was so foolish and wrong. I fling open the door to Papa Papa's Big Top Yogurt Topia <laughs> with enough strength to make a bear envious. Oh, it is very bright at your work, too. Sweet sanatorium. Huh, <sighs> there you are. I was starting to wonder if you'd ever show up. I will kill this man. <laughs> yeah, um, sorry. Uh, you kind of caught me on my day off, you know? I, uh, wasn't really expecting this. He looks at me deftly, like he can't fathom how and whether... How that and weather like this would affect my arrival time. Oh, you little bastard. Well, you're here now. That's all that matters. Hmm. What a flippant change of tone. Why don't you go freshen up and I'll leave you to do your thing. Again, I am so sorry to inconvenience you like this. Are you? Are you? I would have loved to give you more of a heads up, but, you know, Carol really should have called me sooner, too. Uh, if you think about it, we're, we're both caught up in this. <laughs> I had to come in on my day off, too, you know. Oh, well. Somehow, I don't really feel like we're on the same level of inconvenience. I reluctantly head into the back, shake myself off, and throw on the garbage circus-themed apron that completes my employee ensemble. The irony of it all, hallucinating a clown and then going to work dressed as like one. At least they don't make you wear the nose anymore, not after an employee had an allergic reaction to the materials that were made of. Oh my gosh, so they were really full-on dressed as a clown. Holy crap. Rest in peace, Angela. Before long, I settled into my spot at the counter, and my boss heads on out. I smile stiffly. I almost hope he sees how reluctant I am to do so. Mm-hmm. Got it. Bye. He can't leave soon enough. With a tink of the doorbell, he's gone. And then it's just me and the rain. And Sunny! Me, the rain, and Jack. Well, looks like I'm going to be stuck here for a while. Are you sure you don't like have anything else you'd rather be doing? It feels weird to have him just there. Standing there and not able to do anything, really. I want to feel bad, but what else can I do? Send him home? Have him wait for me there? He perches on the counter next to me cheerfully, though it washes away some of my worry. And leave you all by yourself? What kind of a friend would I be if I did that? He seems back to his chipper self. His chipper, naive self. Now that the rushing and the rain have all passed, I find my mind drifting back to the strangely intimate moment that happened not even an hour earlier. My cheeks begin to burn as I realize and remember. Did that really happen? I... I think it did? He was so warm. And for a second, maybe more, I needed him. What would have happened if my boss hadn't called? I see him now, 
looking so kindly and innocent. My blood is hot and cold in my veins at the same time. It's okay, you know. It's okay to what? It's okay to feel that way about someone. Feel what way? To like having them around and to want them. It's very normal. Want... Sometimes you'll meet people in your life who are very special to you and you'll like being around them and you'll want to be around them a lot Are you reading my mind, dude? It's nothing mm -hmm. to be afraid of that feeling is called love <coughs> Love? He chuckles nonchalantly like he didn't just drop the L word like he didn't just I feel my chest get tight. I sputter. D dude, you can't just... Wait, do you even know what that word means? Love? Of course I know what love is, silly. Love is when someone and you just fit. It's like having a best friend who you want to be friends with forever. It's special and it makes you feel good in your heart. That is... A very child-friendly way of putting it. But it works. Okay, so you do know. Mm-hmm. Understanding feelings isn't always easy. But that's why I'm here. I can help you understand them. I'm not feeling love. No? Uh, uh, absolutely not. And even if I was, uh, what would I be loving? It's not like, like anybody... Do you love me? I have to stop myself from being winded by the bluntness of his question. You can't just ask that. Can can you just ask that? He just stands there, looking cool as a cucumber. Uh, looking... Okay, mistyped there. Like he didn't just drop a bomb on me while staring expectantly. What do I even say to that? If you do, it's okay. Love is a good feeling to have. Why wouldn't I want you to feel it? Love is a strong feeling, more like. It, it's, it's complicated. And it, it means a lot more than feeling good. It's complicated sometimes, that is true. It's not always easy to understand all at once because of that. You're very smart. I'm glad you understand these things. I trust you if you say that it's not. But if you think it is, you can tell me. I'll be here for you either way. I just want what's best for you. What's best for me? Is this really what's best for me? I almost shudder at the thought. I don't feel like I really deserve that kind of attention, you know? It doesn't feel natural to have somebody just ask you to consider that, but it feels good, too. My phone rings. Today, answering phones as they ring seems to be a dud choice, and I really shouldn't be answering my phone on the clock. But then again, I'm alone, and it's freaking storming outside. Who's going to come and eat frozen yogurt at this time of day in this weather? Not a single person, that's who. Jack looks at me expectantly. I just kind of meekly shrug. I, I I should answer this. I mean, I technically shouldn't, but... Hey, it's okay. I'll be right here, okay? He almost seems to be granting me permission again. And I accept once he be bequeaths his blessing upon me. Oh, is that the uniform over in the corner? Bow tie and everything I pop into the back room real quick there's a part of the kitchen where the camera doesn't reach and everyone knows about it usually it's used for sorting and chopping yogurt toppings or making out with co-workers I say a phone call isn't the worst thing that's happened here so it's probably all right right yellow Actually picked up. Oh, this is our stalker. Fuck. 
My blood runs cold when I realize the Pandora box I just opened. Shit. I can't hang up now. Can I? Maybe I can break my phone? Throw it to the ground or crush it with my hands? Stupid. I was so stupid. I was happy and stupid and I completely forgot about him. It is a guy. Ian? Yeah. Yeah. It's... It's me. Shit. I'm sorry. I haven't heard your voice in so long. Are you okay? I was until I picked up the phone, Ian. I... I'm fine. Liar! I said, you know, like a liar. What are you doing calling me right now? I'm at work. You really shouldn't I know. be... Why do you keep calling? I can hear bells, chimes, and people in the background. They're muffled, but he's definitely not at home. Where are you? Uh, I'm at the airport. It's actually why I wanted to talk to you. Are you leaving? Consider me lucky, I guess. That you answered, I mean. I didn't actually mean to, you know. What did they do to break up? Because surely Ian is his ex, right? I'm still mad at you. I know. We can't keep doing this. I'm trying to move on. I don't need this in my life right now. We have a fabulous uh, clown boyfriend who just made us pancakes this morning. It was lovely. Nobody else in the world can see him but me. But still, he's real, I promise. Yeah. You're not seeing anyone new, are you? Technically. That's that's none of your business, is it? Kind of is. I want it to be. Look, I'm about to fix all of this. I promise. I don't think you really can. I'm going to try anyway. I've known you for how long now? I've known that. This is worse than anything we've been through. And it's 100% my fault. But please, don't throw me out yet. Even if I deserve it. You're what I want. You're all that I want. I'll be there to show you soon. You're coming here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Our ex, who is absolutely obsessed with us, is coming here to work. Bye, Ian. I need a second. Leaning against the cold, stainless steel counter, I feel about to crumble. I was doing so well to forget. What did he do? Are you okay? No, we're not, Jack. Shit. I don't want him to see me like this. I hastily wipe my eyes of all leakage and try to straighten up. Y yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm fine. I'm okay. You shouldn't lie. It's not good for you. That and you're also not very good at it either. I'm sorry. <laughs> I stifle a chuckle of my, of my own. It's not a lie. It's just it hasn't happened yet. Give me a bit. I'll be okay. That seems to make Jack feel a little better. All right, I'll take your word for it. But, you know, I like hearing your truths. They make you, you. And I'm telling the truth when I say, I'll be here for you whether you're okay or not. I'm not going anywhere. You can trust me. The softness of his gaze is almost enough to melt me. But when he caresses my cheeks supportively, my heart jumps into my throat. I felt bad for so long. I almost feel guilt, uh, guilty. Now, uh, now, how he seems to make it all just disappear. How I think I, maybe I, maybe I might just. No, no, something isn't right about this. I feel for him, but something isn't. Something about this is too good. I wouldn't use him as a bandage to cover up the feelings I don't want to feel. And so soon after Ian... What's wrong? 
Did I do something? You seem upset. Jack's hold lingers, even tightening a small bit, but I gently take his hands into mine and away from my face. You're fine. I'm just dealing with a lot right now. I can help you then. Just tell me what you want. What you need. I need Ian not to come by. <laughs> can you do that? He looks like a kicked puppy right now. I hate to rebuff him, especially with how intimate things got earlier, but I haven't heard Ian's voice in so long. I don't feel very good right now. I hear the front door open. Customers, probably. We are scheduled for any health inspections that I know of. Is it Ian? Is it Ian? I shove my phone in my pocket and shake off the dampened mood. No time to feel sorry for myself. Corporate capitalism demands mandatory smiles. When I go out to the front floor, I see three guys idling around the yogurt dispensers. It's three guys. Normal guys. As per company policy, I am duty-bound to greet them. Welcome one, welcome all to Pava's Big Top Yogurt Plaza. It's so lame. I pray to every, any, and all gods that they're so preoccupied looking at frozen yogurt flavors that they're preemptively tuned me out. I can't talk to Jack when there are people around. At least I look insane. So our conversation is set aside for the moment. Good. Because I need a moment to think. Firstly, the audacity of Ian to call like that. I know he didn't mean it, but I feel tricked. But secondly, after all this time, is this love? Does Jack really make me feel whole all on his own? Or is this just a hallucination too? Is this even real? Do I want to love a hallucination? Would it be so bad? It's not hurting anyone, and he has to be real, right? He made me pancakes! And then we... I feel warm, feel warm and molt into my core thinking about what it could be like. Nobody seems interested in me right now. And I know I'm not interested in anyone else. He already sleeps with me. It's all been harmless up till now, but how deep does this go? How deep could it go? Am I really considering loving a ghost thing? Oh my god, I'm considering it enough to ask if I am. This is so far from where I thought I'd be right now. Oh, hello! Hello! He's cute. I'm I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Jack. He is adorable. He is up my alley. I really like him. Um, Hello, what's your name? Oh my god, you hear his- Oh, his voice is like so low. I hope you guys can hear it. Uh, please. I mean. <laughs> okay, that voice like doesn't seem to match him, but... It could. It could definitely match him. I mean, like, look at Corpse Hudson, for instance. He has like that nice, deep voice. And he's not a big guy. that we know of one of the guys the real guys set down the last of the three cups of frozen yogurt on the scale oh yeah uh sure I get fussing with the register I weigh them out I get a piece of plastic swipe it and give it back and that's the end of that thank you I wave as the customers friends prepare to leave but the one guy lingers you uh you work here, right? Yeah, and you're blushing, sir. What's your name? I pluck at my name tag jokingly. Well, I did just ring you up. Cool. Cool. He hums and haws a bit before grabbing his cu cup and leaving. Weird, but over at least. He liked us. He liked us. He wanted to ask more and he didn't. Hopefully, they'll be the first and last for the day. Let's sigh. The rain continues to, uh, waterfall outside the windows. Some might even say it was raining cats and dogs. The drum of the downpour is almost soothing in the stalks. St 
Okay, let's try that again. The drum of the downpour is almost soothing in the stock stillness of the empty store. That is a tongue twister for me. But I'm still on the clock, and that means there's no time to sit in. An emotionally cryptic trance. Not when there's walnuts to chop and problems to ignore. So, who's Ian? Oh, we're back home now. Excuse me? Ian, you mentioned him earlier, right? We were seated on the couch again. Work done and over with and shop closed up for the night. I was tucked into Jack's form once again, polishing off a box of takeout I'd grabbed on the way home. It was a rough day, and contra contrary to popular media, takeout is actually a treat. I don't remember bringing him up with you. Did I? Jack doesn't say anything. He looks thoughtful. Maybe even worried. Did I ever tell Jack about Ian? Now that I thought about it, the subject really hasn't come up formally. Which is a bit odd considering Ian's room remained mostly undisturbed and right across the root hall from my own. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. First off, why? If you broke up with him and he moved out, why are you leaving his room intact? Hmm? Hmm? That's gonna make it harder and harder to forget. You need to box that up and ship it to him. Be like, your crap is going to be on the corner of so-and-so at so o'clock in the morning, so you better be there to get it. Okay? Because apparently he's the reason you guys broke up. Don't leave his stuff in your house. Kick it out. <laughs> I got too passionate about that. <laughs> it was saying, it was same as it had always been, minus what he took with him when he moved to a fancy performing art school in another state. Okay, so he did take some of his stuff, but he left the rest. I hadn't been in there since the breakup, but had Jack ever wa wandered either? You seemed really unnerved today. This Ian. He's the one who hurt you today, wasn't he? Not hurt. I pushed my food around the box, almost defensive by force of habit. Well, not today. I've never seen you like that. You've always been so happy with me. No, no, that's not always been the case. When he got here, I was a mess. He just came out at the right time, is all. Remember what I told you about other people? What do you mean? You're very special, but sometimes, I don't know, I do worry about you. Worry? People like him. Do you really think he's worth all this pain? Mm. Well, considering he's already, you know, caused this pain right now, no, he's not worth it right now. But other people in the future might be. We can't totally close ourselves off to any sorts of relationship because of one bad experience. So... What does he provide you to make all this worth it? That's not a simple answer. He never has to hurt you again. I can make sure of it. Would you like me to make him go away for you? Um, what sort of going away are you talking about, Jack, buddy? I feel my spine turn to jelly the way he says it. Maybe my head isn't on right, but he has no idea how nice that sounds. It feels even better as one of his hands begin to firmly grasp and almost massage my shoulders while the other snakes down my arm and takes my, my hand sweetly into his. I never want to think about these conflicting feelings ever again. Wouldn't it be funny if I could just erase these thoughts? Me and Ian, walking to school together in the snow, our first dance, moving here even, coming to this place to be together, only for him to move away to his fancy college and... You don't miss him, do you? Oh, sunshine. Oh, 
like all the sunshine. He's really fooled you, hasn't he? He promised you the moon and all the stars, and I bet he did it so well. But what did it all amount to in the end? He doesn't love you. He can't love you. Nobody who can do what he's done to you knows what love even is. Jack squeezes my hand, punctuating his words with soft affirmation. If he's what's holding you back from being truly happy with someone who loves you, maybe it would just be better if I did something about it. What you gonna do, would you Jack? That sunshine? I feel my lungs grow short of air, the way his hot breath feel feels against my ear and shoulders. I end up having to choke back a huge sigh like breath, but it comes out more like an audible shudder. It's so warm now warm and foggy and hazy. I don't want to think right now. I don't know if I could. I can't help but think. Maybe it would be better if he could just take control. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Come on, you've got work today, you know. I don't want to get up. I know that's not an ideal way to start the day, but let's get up and get ahead of it anyways. No. I'm going to try and play dead, I think. <laughs> Maybe if I pretend I'm not alive, he'll go give up and let me sleep in. I'll quit my job later. Maybe run away with a circus. It's a great idea, yeah. Oh, you're not going to be stubborn about this today, are you? Yes, I am. <sighs> First you steal my jacket. Now you won't get up so I can at least have it back? Nope, it's my jacket now. What am I going to do with you? Mm, let me sleep. His jacket. Oh, goodness. you, Yeah, you don't have any uh, clothes on. Upon closer unconscious inspection, I realize that my blanket is a lot heavier than normal. And it feels like it's made of something plush and satiny. I open my eyes. Sitting on the bed beside me, looming over me like a big dumb sappy tree, is Jack. He looks down, almost adoringly. My heart flutters as he chuckles. He caresses my cheek in the world's worst yet most comforting wake-up barrage. Hi there. Hey! Hey, Jack! How you doing? <laughs> Did you do anything shady to my ex while I was asleep? Hi. I stop to realize that I'm in bed, but I don't actually remember going to bed. All I remember was eating takeout on the couch and then... You dozed off, so I figured I'd help you out a little. I, I hope that was okay. I didn't want your back to hurt when you woke up. Couches aren't for sleeping, you know. But you seemed so snugly with the jacket, I couldn't take it away. You've got quite the grip there. <laughs> So we fell asleep holding his jacket, and he was like, okay, okay, you can just keep it. <laughs> I realized that the jacket, which in hindsight is huge, is draped over me like a shawl. Oh, uh, oh, I, I'm sorry, you want it back, right? Only because we have to get you dressed for today. Otherwise, I promise I'm not mean like that. You seemed cold. The jacket is very warm. Sleepy me has good taste. I remove the jacket from my body and return it to him. It's really heavy, so I need to use both arms when handing it over. He puts it on and poses reflectively, his signature piece. We return to him once more. But he's really bad at keeping a straight face about it. He snickers to himself before giving a little bow. Thank you. He's very polite about the whole affair. I can't help but laugh a little too. But when he extends his hand to take mine, helping me out of bed like it's a pumpkin coach, I feel special and the butterflies kick up again. So, we've got this today, right? Yes, we do. His determination strong but kind. I, I think I want to follow his lead. Yeah, we got this. That's the spirit. 
Let's start off with something to eat and get you ready to go. Can we have more pancakes? Double yeah. <laughs> we love our food. The walk to work isn't anything particular special. The weather is nicer, though, and it's not raining. Definite plus. Today actually might be a good day after all. The day goes by pretty quickly. Traffic is somehow less than it was the day before. But I don't complain, because that means plenty of time by myself, yet again. Conveniently, no one else seems to have been called in to replace the missing employee who is still out sick. Understaffing sucks. Why do I have to be the one to pick it, uh, pick up the slack? So, question. Shoot. Do you have a favorite flavor? Hmm. Of yogurt? Yeah. Hmm. Not that I can think of off the top of my head. I get this stuff for free. I'm pretty much over it now. Uh, I can see that. I All right. We've well, been. then, if you've had so much of it. That makes you an expert in yogurt, right? I suppose so, yes. I am the yogurt god. Okay then, you're the yogurt god. Bow to my creamy awesomeness and quiver in fear at my low-fat dairy-based content. <laughs> as well as my non-dairy options, too. Jack watches me, speechless, obviously in awe. Before he speaks, that is. Hmm, all right, then let's play a little game. Make me a yogurt using all your yogurt know-how, and let's see how much you've learned about me. If you really wow me, I'll give you a prize. A prize? What kind of prize? The best kind of prize is a surprise. Ah, <sighs> fine. I grab a cup. I got my eyes on this clown. I'll knock his socks off with the world's best cup of yogurt. Alright, the world's best cup of yogurt needs yogurt first. What kind am I going with? Uh, cake batter. Yes. This one seems nice and festive, and the sprinkles in it remind me of Jack. I think you'll appreciate this one. All right, yogurt is picked out. Now we have to pick a sauce. Rum sauce, strawberry, or cotton candy. Cotton candy. A cotton candy infused white chocolate. Hmm. It's blue, very blue, baby, baby blue. But it looks pretty and it smells sweet. I should have picked strawberry. It will go nicely alongside the other mounts of sugar in the cup. Alright, that, all that's left are the toppings. Gotta make this count. Sprinkles. Rainbow sprinkles? Is it even fro froyo without rainbow sprinkles? Shut up and get in the cup, you tasteless sugar bits. I need you to make this aesthetic as fuck. All right, there we go. One yogurt cup filled to the brim with tasty toppings and creams. I should have picked strawberry. All right, there we go. One yogurt cup to the film to the brim. Finished. I call back to Jack who pops around inquisitively. Hey, that looks pretty good. You're quite the chef, huh? I told you I am a yogurt god. I believe you, sunshine. Don't worry. Jack spoons around the concoction. He's very careful to keep it in the All bowl. Right. I trust you. Let's see how you did. He takes a bite. He seems to roll the yogurt over his tongue thoughtfully. A small smile creeps into his face, and he almost hesitates to remove the spoon from his mouth. Well, now that's an impressive cup of yogurt. I did a good job. Good enough for a prize? He takes another bite. Mm, it's... Good. Ah, it's missing something. What did I mess up? What? Are you serious? Yep. Definitely missing something. Ugh, no fair. He takes his final bite, making sure to lick the spoon clean. I don't make the rules, Sunspot. But you actually do, though. Ah, uh, right. I do. Well, better luck next time, then. 
you were really close. Nah, it was a syrup. I fold my arms and glare at him. Oh, I'm sorry. How about I share some with you? Would that make it better? Maybe. He scoops up Dollop and gestures it towards me. Open wide. I hesitate out of stubbornness. But now I'm curious. I take a bite. It's okay. The mismatch of flavors is a bit odd, though. Tastes like something you make when you're nine and it's your first time picking out toppings all on your own. I'm sorry. I messed up. Overall, I have failed. You know, Can I have another sharing try? is nice when it's with you. But I won't lie. I've never shared a spoon with someone before. <laughs> is it weird that makes me feel a little happy? Oh my god. The animes. They warned me about this. It's almost like an indirect kiss of some sort. You take that back. What? What did I say? You. You know what you said. What? What? I really don't. I swear. I tease him for a bit. He teases back. The banter is nice, and it feels good to connect with him so casually. It's like... We've known each other forever. This is so comfortable. I really enjoy spending time with him like this. My thoughts are interrupted by a customer at the door. Oh boy, here we go. Welcome, one welcome all to Popov's Big Top Yogurt Plaz. That's still the worst thing I've ever been paid to do in my life. Hey, it's the gothy boy again. I was here yesterday. Welcome back. Oh, wait. Yeah, this guy does look familiar. You still work here? Uh, yeah, it's been a day, dude. I'm here and in uniform, same as last time. Cool. Cool. He seems to hover near the counter. He doesn't seem interested in yogurt. I hope he doesn't ask for cookies. I haven't restocked the little shelves today and... I don't know where the box cutter is, and I don't want to ask. You, uh, you got a boyfriend? Mm, yeah, but he's right here, but you can't see him. Uh, I see. This is where this is going. I, uh, what do you mean? You know, like, a boyfriend. Hmm, I don't know whether to be flattered this is happening or terrified this is happening. I'm gonna go with terrified for now. Well, I mean, uh... Shit. Shit. What do I say? What am I supposed to do? You can say yes if you want to. Oh. I don't mind, you know. What do you mean you don't mind? The way he says is almost like a whisper in my ear uncharacteristic of him. It's like the cherub sweet voice of a devil on my Think shoulder. Think about it. What this could mean for us. Do you want to say yes? If you want to say yes, you can. It doesn't even have to be a lie. I'll be whatever you want me to be for you. I did promise I'd never leave you, right? I can't even stop to look at Jack. I can't acknowledge him without looking outwardly weird. But he's very much there. Standing behind me. Is this a leap I dare to take? Oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I want to pick both of them, guys! <laughs> I want to pick both. No, there's... I can't save! I can't save! Ah! Ah! I want to pick both. Oh my god. Oh my god. If I pick both, though, Jack is going to get jealous. He is so going to get jealous. But this guy's cute. And he, I mean, he should put himself out there to somebody who's not, like, you know, invisible. But if I say no, oh my god. I want to. <laughs> Why can't I say? <laughs> Why can't I save? Save. Dev. Dev, please. Please. Why can't I save? <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I will. I lean into my emotions, as small as it may seem. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! 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 I thought we- Oh! Ah! Oh, dang it! Dang it! Oh! Oh! Okay, I thought we were answering, um, Jack's question, not- not this guy's question. Dang it! I was gonna uh, date him! I was gonna date him! I'm so sorry! Oh! Ah! He tricked me! He tricked me! The evil clown! Oh, I'm sorry! I wanted to date you! <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I do. Sorry. Oh, man. That sucks. He hangs his head a little and just walks off. I'm sorry, cutie. I'm coming back to you. I promise. I mean, I don't know what he was expecting. I'm proud of you. I feel a soft, firm hand rest around me. Hey, that was a lot. I understand. It you was. You did so good, though. <laughs> did I? You know, admitting your feelings is the first step. It's not always easy, but it's good for you. <laughs> the first step in what, though? The first step in really staying with me. Forever. You do want that. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. So, what does this mean? It means... Well... I guess it means that we're really together now, hmm? He smiles innocently. You mean... Like a couple? If you want it, we can be. I feel stupid and blushy. The way he cocks his head like a puppy on at that sentiment. Oh, wow. This is just really happening. Can I ask you to do something for me? It depends, Jack. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Can you say it? I'd like to hear you say it, just so I know for real. I love you? Yeah, but for me, if it's okay, you know? He says it's okay to say it. So, I guess at this point, I might as well. Right? I love you, Jack. He softens to the point of looking like he's gonna melt. Just like that. Before I know what, what's what, he leans in to give me a quick but sweet kiss. It's almost bashful, but it's genuine, and it, feel, and it feels so real against my lips that even after he pulled away, I could still feel them. He looks away, a bit shy about it, all I figure. You know, maybe this is a bit silly to admit, but some part of me was hoping you felt that way. Nobody will understand what we have, but that's okay. All that matters is how I make your heart feel. It feels good right now, doesn't it? Good is an understatement. I'm nervous. And excited and I don't have time to think anymore about it before another customer comes in. Shit. Welcome one, welcome all to Pava's Big Top Yogurt Plaza. I get to do, I get to doing my job at that point. Out of the corner of my eye, Jack still lingers. There's so, there's nothing really left to say. Nothing that can be given the proper attention that it deserves. Like this, that is. The rest of the day goes by quietly. There's a silent anticipation to pick up the conversation in a more private environment later. I can't help but feel odd when I'm grounded in reality. The things I can see and hear and touch for myself. At the moment, Jack is all I can see. He's the most real thing there is. But after that, when anything else has my attention, I can see the utter ludicrous of the situation. Is it intoxicating? Is that what this is? What is this dreamy haze that I find myself consumed by when it comes to him? And I still don't quite know what he is. No. No, I really shouldn't be giving him the kind of power over me. Why not? If it feels good, then it must be good for you. So many people walk around so sad and unhappy. You don't want to end up like them, do you? Someday... 
you'll know why I'm doing this. What are you doing, Jack? But for now, trust me when I say that it's all for you. I do it because I care about you. I never want you to be alone. And have I ever lied to you? I get home around 7 at night. The day saw little fanfare overall, but I had all I had to do, but I had to do all of Carol's usual chores. Those took a little longer than expected because she never does them to begin with. Okay, what was that? Why was this text in red? That seemed more possessive. And I don't know if I should be really worried or not. <laughs> um Wow. I need to check how long this is. This is going on longer than I thought it was going to be. Okay, um, I think I'm going to leave it here for now. I wasn't expecting it to be this long, but apparently it's quite a long demo. And I love it. I, re <laughs> I really, really got into it and um, I didn't notice that I'd gone on for this long. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed it and please come back. I'm hoping to have part two up uh, this week as well because I want to know what's happening. <laughs> I want to see what's happening. What what else is going to happen? Uh, did we totally, you know, discourage that guy so he's not coming back? Um, what did Jack do? He said he's doing something. What is he doing? And the text was red and... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll quit now. But let me know down below. What do you think about something's wrong with Sunny Day Jack? And I hope you guys have a good afternoon. Bye!